Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the gold corner, Christina Jojavir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent fighting out of the black corner, Bry Morasha Put John Bong. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sydney Olympic Park and Sports Centre. Bout number one of the evening. This fight will be fought three by three minute rounds. Full tie rule in the flyweight division. Firstly, fighting out of the gold corner. Official weight 51 kilograms even. She's the WMX New South Wales champion. 14 fights, nine wins. Representing Team Australia, Christina Jerjevic. ในมุมทองนะคะน้ำหนัก51กิโลนะคะ80ชกมา82ครั้งนะคะชนะ52ครั้งนะคะในมุมทองเป็นตัวแทนของประเทศออสเตรเลียนะคะคริสติน่าเจอร์เจฟิกค่ะ and her opponent fighting out of the black corner official weight 50.5 kilograms a record of 82 fights for 52 wins representing team Thailand Bry Morasha Pat John Boom. แล้วในมุมดำนะคะเป็นผู้แทนของประเทศไทยนะคะคุณปรายมรชพัฒน์จอมบึงค่ะ I want to see a good clean fight. When I say stop, stop. Okay? Yep. In the event of a knockdown, the person standing up can only go to the neutral corner and you wait till the other ones. Any questions? Good luck, defend yourself. Well, the pre-fight rituals are all gone now. We are ready for the First of 10 events. Hello and welcome to Sydney Olympic Park Sports Centre for wherever you may be viewing from right around the world for this historic night. Brought to you live on Epicentre TV, the premier Real Hero Muay Thai Championship for 2013. John Cavasini joins me in co-commentary. John, uh, that's quite entertaining itself, watching the girls pay homage, particularly Bry Morajapad John Boom. Yeah, good evening, Chris, and uh, what a fantastic event here. Look, the Y Crew Ram Moy performed by uh, Pry, absolutely beautiful, almost uh, balletic in its uh, in its execution. But uh, we're down to action now here in the first of ten fights. Yeah, Pry we certainly are. We certainly are. Christina's already got a couple of left jabs through, and Pry is, is fighting back. More of a kicking specialist. This young girl, Christina Jurjevic from Penrith. At the foot of Sydney's Blue Mountains, there's quite a few coming through from the feet of Bry, but Djurjevic seems to be finding some holes through the middle. Yeah, Bry already unleashing a uh, right crossing elbow as they uh, tie up now just above our commentary position here. Now, what we're seeing here tonight already, Chris, is quite a departure from what we would typically see. Most Muay Thai fights are fought under five rounds. Tonight, the format is three by three minute rounds. This will favour the Aussie fighters because they will try and jump the ties early on. The Thai fighters are used to warming up, um, feeling each other out, particularly in the Whoa. first two rounds. 
as you can see here, it's all action from the from the first bell. It is all action indeed. Speaking to a few of the fighters, John, they said they know they've got to go straight into it, and, and Djurjevic is doing exactly that. This is her first professional fight. She's not daunted by the experience. She's going hell for leather. Yeah, absolutely, and look at Pry once again trying to unleash the elbows. Djurjevic being careful for from those elbows. You don't want to be split, I imagine, in the first round. As I said, it's her first professional fight. She's had three amateurs coming into this and won them all. But she's up against a very experienced contender at Bright. Look at Djurjevic now warming into it. Bright working downstairs. There's another little Bright. Didn't connect, though, I don't think. And didn't uh, knock too much out of the tie fighter. She's very strong with that right cutting cross kick is Bright. But yeah. Djurjevic, look at her upstairs. She's a boxer. Yeah, good on uh, good handiwork. And there's a crossing elbow once again from Christina. She's got a, quite a significant height advantage over the tie fighter in Pry. I'd like to see Christina just start to use that front kick front kick to keep a uh, prior range. Yeah, well, as we all know, the kicks are probably scoring more points with the judges, and Christine is very much relying on uh, mm. on her boxing background. She is uh, 165 centimetres against Bryce, 158. So there's a, a front kick there, and you can see she's got very long legs and quite a reach advantage in, yeah. in all limbs. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what I'd like to see Christina do, just uh, use the reach advantage that she has, set up the hand combinations with that front kick, Balance so important, Bry there with a, a full spin, comes back with the left, and Christina again, a one-two combination, leading with the left. Comes with a little right cross there, doesn't really connect. Yeah. Goes in with a top right elbow though, I think did land. Yeah, Christina not looking phased at all by the much more experienced tie fighter. She actually has her on the back foot, and there we go, the end of the first round. Well, how'd you score it? Oh, probably, uh, a strong finish in the end to uh, the Aussie fighter, so uh, probably the way of the gold corner. First round to Team Australia. There's the bell. We're about to get underway for the second of ten fights in total. Australia taking on Thailand for the first ever time as, a, I guess, a team sport. Uh, once again, uh, Christina opens up with a nice uh, front kick deep. Puts together the punch combination. Really surprised Chris to see both fighters in that first round unleashing the elbows. Really sets the tone for probably what we're going to see for the rest of this evening. They're looking to knock each other out. Well, absolutely. And three by three minute rounds, uh, they will, you'd think, start from the outset. And that's what we saw in the first round. Mm. There's a left jab and a left cross. And there's another right elbow by Christina. Didn't cause too much damage, but Bry there just losing her footing. Bry having a very wide guard now. Christina will uh, take advantage as she just did then. She's got a nice couple of punch combination straight through the middle. Once again, Bry trying to let go of that elbow, not within range. Well, there's a couple of heavy knees going in just in front of us though, John, and I think Christina felt the full force of all of those. Yeah, Christina trying to put the, the knee guard without much success. Now, in the clinch uh, also, Chris, Christina would have a significant advantage, would get, be able to get that knee with ease up into the rib cage of uh, the shorter Pry. A right and a left by Pry. Christina still going in with the punches. A left knee not really connecting in the corner now. Trying to link up. Powerful knees from Pry. If they do connect, they'd hurt. Yeah, good countering from Christina with a nice left knee of her own. Thrown at range. Well, she has got the range, that is for sure. There's a big right elbow by Christina, followed by a couple of right kicks, straight knee as well. We often see the Superman punch, but it's great to see the Superman elbow being thrown by Christina. How much damage is being caused to this young Thai girl? Oh, we don't again. know. That would have hurt. Yeah, another crossing elbow from Christina. That one taken flush on the Ooh. chin by Pry. And oh, again. And a downward elbow. Look, Christina now in this second round with really nasty intentions. I can see the start of, I think, what might be a, a trickle of blood coming from Christina's nose. It might just be sweat, but Bry has been working her heart out. That range advantage, though, by this young girl from Penrith who trains at Fairfax Fairtex Ultra Fit Gym. There's the range in example again. Yeah, she can nice, really keep her distance. Nice use of the jab also from Christina just to set up that right hand. 
There we see it once again, and then she follows up with the crossing elbow. Oh, once again, good strong knees from the much taller Christina. Pry now putting the defensive knee guard. What an action pack second round again. Yeah, she followed that knee up with the right left combination, Christina. So two rounds gone. Yeah, oh. Two rounds to the gold corner on my scorecard. I'd agree with all of that. As we do know, though, it's not over until she sings. We've got another three minute round to go. Second down there, you heard it, the third third round to go in this fight. John Cavasini joining me in co-commentary. The first two he thinks have gone to young Christina Djurjevic, the Australian from Penrith, who fights out of the Fairtex Ultra Fit Gym. Her first professional fight, and she's doing mighty well so far. Australia against Thailand, yeah, the premiere of the Real Hero Muay Thai Championship. Yeah, once again, uh, Christina opening up with very tidy handiwork. She has been out of the game with an injury, but she said yesterday she's back fully fit and raring to get right back into the scene. And that's exactly what she's doing here at Sydney's Olympic Sports Centre. That left arm working overtime for Christina. Yeah, probably trying to let go with that uh, crossing elbow. Still not within range. It's a tie up just above us once again here, Chris. Really neither fighter working hard enough. So referee Isa Ramadani just steps in to separate them. Well, she's got that height advantage and Bry just can't seem to connect anywhere above the hips with those crossing knees. Mind you, they would be causing a bit of pain to the quadriceps of Christina, I'm sure. This is the third round then. John has the Aussie in front on the first two, but anything can happen. Yeah, absolutely, uh, and it only takes uh, one blow to uh, end the fight. Uh, once again, not enough happening in the clinch, so referee will separate them and move back into centre ring. Christina just flicking out that left jab, sets up the straight right hand. It's worked a treat for her so far in this fight, Chris. She's got good balance with that reach and she can poise herself, position herself, ready to come in for the kill. Bry needs to get close for her to affect any impact. And there's another cross with a quick left jab following it up by the Aussie. Yeah, good use of the ring by Price. She's not letting Christina back her up against the ropes. But really needs to pick up her work rate here in this third and final round. You can see some bruising, or at least we can, on Christina on her, her right rib cage. Some of those kicks and knees are starting to wear her down, but I don't think there's been enough of them thrown or connecting to have any significant impact so far. So con Christina continues to push forward, and uh, let's not forget, Chris, that under Muay Thai rules, Judges will score oh. aggression as well. Well, there's aggression, a bottle full of it. Christina with a big right elbow, which connected on Bry. Bry fighting back with a couple of straight left kicks. Once again, that jab from Christina. Bry almost letting go a token elbow. Well, so 10 seconds left in this bout. Leave nothing in the tank, Christina. Uh, Christina looking to knock out Pry. Oh, there you go. What a fantastic bout to open up. Real hero, Muay Thai 2013. Absolutely, and full credit to both fighters. Christina said to me yesterday she knew nothing about her first opponent, Bry, but uh, she certainly took it to her. And I don't know about you, but we've got it down for all three rounds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the much more experienced Pry didn't phase Christina at all, so we await the judges' official decision. But on my scorecards, I think it's one to Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of full tie rules, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. Our judges scored the contest 30-27, 30-28 and 30-26. Your winner by unanimous points, Team Australia, Christine oh,